Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash ValderBeebeShow, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. No. Good day and Happy New Year, Dr. Lisa Masterson. Thank you for joining us on the Valder Beebe, Valder Beebe Show. How are you? I'm doing great, and thank you for having me, and Happy New Year. Thank you. I want my audience to know that the former co-host of the television show, The Doctors, is Dr. Lisa Masterson. She's a medical doctor. You know she's a national expert in the area of obstetrics, gynecology, infertility, adolescence gynecology, and family planning. So she comes well qualified today to talk with you and me about preparing for pregnancy and with a special emphasis on folic acid information. Dr. Masterson, why is preparing for pregnancy important, first of all? Well, it, definitely because of the folic acid awareness that you were talking about. Because birth effects happen really, really early on in pregnancy, maybe before a woman even knows that she's pregnant. So if she can get that folic acid on board, she can help prevent some of those birth effects. Because what we know in the United States is that over half of the pregnancies are unplanned. So in an ideal situation, a woman would go and go before she gets pregnant and plan it out with her doctor, get maybe a preconception consultation and be able to individualize her special needs um, and then do a personalized plan for before, during, and after her pregnancy. That's the ideal. So that's what we encourage every woman to do if she is thinking about getting pregnant. But what the CDC and, and us gynecologists want to urge women and make sure they know about is that women, all women of <coughs> childbearing age should be taking a multivitamin with folic acid. And that's so that we can um, decrease the risk of neural tube defects. Because if you take it early, uh, or even if you get it beforehand, we really encourage women to start two to three months before they get pregnant, then you can really decrease the incidence of these um, neural tube disorders. We want to take folic acid. But what are some of the things we should stop doing maybe when we decide we want to get pregnant or we think we're pregnant? What are some of the things we should stop? Well, you, again, you want to talk to your health care provider, but definitely you want to know the things to avoid when you're eating, okay? It's because a woman's like immune system is very delicate, so you want to make sure you avoid raw foods or unpasteurized foods. And exercise, we know, is so so, so healthy for pregnancy, but you just need to know what kind of exercises you should be doing or if you're doing exercises now that you may need to give up during some time in your pregnancy. So that's really huge. And then also that there are other important nutrients as well as folic acid, like calcium, because not only are you building up your own bones, but also all these nutrients go into um, building up your baby. So calcium and iron, a woman's blood volume like doubles while she's pregnant. So you, need, you may need more iron, um, vitamin B12 you may need more of. So it's really important to know what you need more of. Also, if you have an increased risk or higher risk for neural tube disorders, then you may actually need higher folic acid levels um, than just your standard, which a lot of women don't know that they're at, they're one, that they're at higher risk if they have like diabetes or if they're overweight or if they have inflammatory bowel disorder, and then don't know to take even more folic acid. And that's why I'm so thrilled today to be here with Duchenne USA and be talking about Imterity Folic 5 because it actually has a higher level of folic acid and therefore it is really good for these women who are at a higher risk. But if they don't know to take it, then they can't get this benefit from it. So it's really important. And also they've fashioned a prenatal vitamin um, that's very, that really addresses the needs of pregnant women. Like say they have a lot of problems with nausea and vomiting, they have an AM and PM dosaging, 
because they realize that in prenatal vitamins, one, one size does not fit all, which I think is beautiful. And they address if you have gluten um, you know, intolerance or if you have lactose intolerance, that you may need a gluten-free pill or a lactose-free pill, or if you have any religious um, dietary laws that you have to follow. So I, you know, I, I think it's really, it's a, it's, it's a real improvement in women's health care to be addressing the special needs of, of, of pregnant women. And it's great advice to always, always talk to your physician before making any changes or decisions about your health. Dr. Masterson, let me ask you, what happens if I'm just pregnant and where do I start then? I know this is about pre-planning, but what happens is I'm pregnant. Where do I start then with my doctor? You, you start with your health care provider, and you, you, know, you get right on a prenatal vitamin. Again, that's why, that's why I'm here today, and it's so important for me to say that you, ideally you want to take it two to three months beforehand. I feel like I say that all the, a lot to my friends and my patients, but you actually want to start it before before you get pregnant. Um, once you're pregnant, you still need all of those, um, you know, all those vitamins to go into a healthy baby. So you still need to take your vitamins because we can't guarantee that you're gonna get all those nutrients um, from your diet. Again, so, so it's really important that women have a, a certain dosage that they take in a prenatal vitamin. So those prenatal vitamins are still just as important in pregnancy, but it's ideal if you can start them beforehand. Dr. Masterson, that's some great advice. Is there a place on the web where women can go and get some more information? So we like to now take stuff to the doctor. <laughs> yes, they can go to imterity.com, and um, it's got tons of information about pregnancy as well as prenatal vitamins. I got a Facebook question here for you. One of the posts said that they miss you on TV. Are you back, or where can they find you? So you got your own following. <laughs> great. Everybody's been so fantastic. I have my own podcast called Health and Heals with Dr. Lisa, and occasionally I do some things for the doctors, and that's kind of what I do right now. I kind of make sure that I get wonderful information out to everyone out there because I really enjoy, um, you know, giving, giving, helping women in this way. All right, Dr. Lisa Masterson, thank you for being my guest, and thank you for talking about something that's really important. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me, and you have a great day. The same to you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.